this is Steve and thanks for watching this is another edition of the Atari so let's jump right into it okay so what is I promised you I was going to show you a character set video here and uh, this one is already as you can see on the screen it's already redefined the character control T into some kind of a musical note here I'll show you the program a little bit but I want to explain this to you uh, this memory location here 756 is where the character set redefinition comes into play and I broke it down here in the height a little bit to show you how this character is being altered. Right here you see this location 39936 is representing the very first um, square on this uh, heart. So if we poke in a few lines here we can go in and change this control T and I'll show you that here. And let me get back to the screen here. So let's just, um, the easiest way to do it is I poke in like 255s and we'll go ahead and we'll change it. First let me show you by peeking in there what's in there. You see there's a zero in there right now. So we're gonna store a 255 in here and then we're gonna we're gonna retype that character back to the screen. You might even see a change real time because it's already looking at memory. So let's um let's do that. I am not used to this. Let's see if it changes it. Oh, it's changing the screen. Oh, because that's where the screen is storing. That's where the screen is first located. So you want to put a zero in there. So this wasn't where the character control T started. This is where your character set first starts at. It's looking in eight positions in the screen memory, starting at the screen memory. So what we could probably do is figure out where in the actual character set this is um, defined in the set and we could probably um, change the next positions past 8. So basically we're going to say, to show you what I'm talking about here, we're going to print um, 39936 plus 8 should be the next position in memory, which is uh, 39944. It has a 0 in it. So if I go to the actual character set here, found in none other less the um, owner Atari owner's manual if you can see that or not but in the back here this is where the axi characters are located now if you see the control T here um, camera's not going to do very well here but look it's right there on the screen but it's not coming in see right there it says control T I don't miss that camera too much. But anyways, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. So we're going to be um, changing this character set in memory. So the first one we'll probably be able to change is the heart character, which is control A. This one right here. I think this is the one we'll be able to change. Oh, no, no, control zero. Excuse me, I know control A. Uh, let's just do control A and see if I can change control A. So I'll put a few of those up on the screen here. See if we can figure out where they're stored at in the character set and we'll change those. I just wanted to show you this. This is how it's happening real time. This is going to change the characters real time in memory as we alter them. So, so we first tried this location. So let's uh, play around here and so what was it? Um, three nine nine four four, comma two fifty five. Okay, so that's not it. So what we can do is we could kind of cheat a little bit here. We'll add plus eight to this each time since we're going to skip ahead. Am I doing this right? I'm saying plus eight. Let's see one two fifty five. Yeah, that would be right because there's actually there's eight there's eight bits in the character set. So we're going to say plus eight each time to kind of skip ahead until I figure out where it's located. So 8 plus 8 to 255. That's not it. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep moving this ahead a little bit. And then we're going to multiply this by 2 so we can figure out the next position in memory. Eventually we should be able to find it. Right now, I've already altered a few characters, but you can't see which ones they are. 
I'm going through memory and I'm changing things right now in the character set. Because it's moved it to RAM where it can be changed at. Now the trick is to figure out which characters I changed. One of the other things I might be able to do is park 40000. I think it's uh, comma 1. Get the upper. Let's just read. Um, I'm going to save this uh, right here in the variable so I know which one I'm working with here. So we don't lose this. So I'm going to erase the screen here. So T is where we were last left off at, where the last part we were changing that character set. So if I kind of go through them, maybe I could see it. Okay, so I didn't change any of those. Let's see if I can change any of these. Ah. Yeah, I think it changed that. It changed the A here. That looks kind of funny. And if you ever forget, just use the um, 156 comma 0 and you can figure out where it starts. Remember this earlier? Change the screen. Set it back to 255 or zero, excuse me. So we don't want to affect the screen itself. We want to get one past the screen, which is the plus eight. Now that I got a few up on the screen here, I'm going to kind of play with it a little bit. I can figure out where these stupid characters are. I'm going to change this to like 210 and see if I can change it that way. Times two. Three. Four. one. So what what this is, it's changing the asterisk here. I was just guessing at it to try to find it, but you see how it changed that a little bit? So what we could do is we can go back and read where this variable was at. I'm just going to throw this into another location here. We'll just set it um, C for character set. 39936 plus, plus 8 times 10. So that's where it's going to store right there, the asterisk. So it's going to be stored in the C. Let me just double check my work to make sure we got it right. Looks good. So it's in C now. And we know C is where the asterisk is stored, so let's put it back up there. Now we're going to kind of play with it and change it. Watch. See how it changed it? So we're all, now what we're doing is we're altering, let's turn it all into blanks. Just to show you that this works. See, first line, the second line would be plus 8. You always have to do plus 8, otherwise you're only going to change that whole line. So plus 8, because there's 8 bytes in that, that line. So that'll change the next line. Oh, I changed the plus. No, wait, I went too far here or something. Oh, I did. I should have done, I was. I actually went into the next part of the character set, so excuse me. You change them one after the other. So 14, you have 17, you have 255, we'll change the next part on the asterisk. There it goes, it kind of blanked it out a little bit there. Now let's skip a few. We'll do like 20 or something. See how it's changing it? It looks almost like a ladder now or something. That's kind of cool, let's look at that. That's our new character. We just redefined the character to that, that new character. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? So let's set up a quick display list here. Oh, 
I just lost the whole screen. Okay, well anyways, I get to show you the, the program now. This is the program I was using, and it's from this book right here. It's the Atari graphics book right here. This is where I got it. And if you guys are curious, it's actually in chapter 3, and it's called Design Your Own Character Sets. So I wanted to show you that real simple video. I'm going to cut it out because I now probably lost the audio again. But I just wanted to, yeah, show you that and let you guys go ahead and play with that kind of stuff. Type in the character set. And you can use these lines right here to change. This one is the control T. And this one is one of the other ones. So I just wanted to show you. That's kind of how it works. And you can kind of play in memory. Just remember your character set is always going to be 8 by 8 If you look at this chart right here, you can kind of get an idea. You want to copy that chart on graph paper and then fill in those squares and you would poke in those numbers plus those um, columns. And I showed another video. Maybe I'll show you another video later, but there is another video on my channel. Maybe I'll link to this one and show you how to, how to set those characters for yourself. So thanks for watching, guys.